John. John. Right now? Right now. Right now. Are you the host with the French toast? Are you the host with the French toast? Are you kidding me? Hmm. Hey, Chris, what's shaking? I'm just, uh, I'm just live right now cooking your whitefish, so tune into Facebook with Trevor. Gots to go, I'll call you back. Your, your son. No, my truck's broke down. Be there tomorrow. Yeah, not the totes though. Actually, no, I can't come. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Okay, I'll call I gotta call you back though. Bye. <laughs> the host with the wrong ring in the phone. Why didn't we come on at three? Uh, game was a little late. Game was a little late. Hey, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, because I bet you you're watching this right now, because you just had two point what? No, one two point two one four two point one four five six seven million people watching for the biggest HQ ever. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred bones. We made it to question seven. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. That's why we're late, Chef J, and this is late to plate and uh. We haven't been on for a while, have no, we? It's been a while. Been a while. We've been busy uh, ripping it up at the gym. Yeah. Getting pretty thin, eh? Oh, Grace is watching. We got a viewer. Hey, Grace. Okay, so this week, uh, we're going to do it light, eh? Keep it light. Keep it light. Thinking of spring, we're going to do a nice white fish salad, right? Keeping it on point for the and diet. And we're going to use... I wish I could remember this guy's name. I wrote he, it down somewhere, but lost it. This right here is local corn flour, isn't it? Guy made it himself. Guy made it himself. Uh, I, I, sorry, sir. I know you're going to probably be watching this one. Um, I want to say your name's Roger. It's not. But it's not. But just know we're using your corn flour today, which is very exciting. It's local corn flour, right? We're also going to use some of uh, our main girl Grace's uh, jalapeno crazy good spice. There we go. So we're going to put that in with the corn flour. And we're using some local bacon. We're using, uh, check out that sexy fish. That's eh? a nice white fish. Well, that's a nice white fish from your uh, finest fisherman. That's actually not Lake of the Woods, is it? No, that's uh, Lake that's Manitoba. That's straight out of Lake Manitoba. That is Lake Manitoba white fish, and it is beautiful. Lake of the Woods whitefish is actually much larger. Way larger. What else has been going on? Not much, eh? Not much. Just a lot of fishing. A lot of fish. A lot of fish. You went away. How was home? Oh, it was nice to get home for a bit. Yeah? Did you tipsy it up? I might have had a few wobbly pops. <laughs> <laughs> Little wobbly pop. Boop, boop. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm in uh, Toronto next Oh, yeah? Week. No, week after. Week after I'm in Toronto. Uh, I'm at the... Terrar Symposium. Oh, you learned how to pronounce it. Yeah, well, I've only been trying for the last six months, but the Terrar Symposium, uh, I'm really excited to go down there because, uh, you know, they're great chefs like Ned Bell's going to be there, a whole bunch of local producers, a whole bunch of local wineyards. Vineyards. Wine vineyards? Wineyards? Vineyards. I, I don't drink wine, so vineyards it would be. But Freshwater Cuisine's going to be there, yes. and we're going to be talking about uh, local fish. We're going to be talking about how we use the waste. I love the article they put together. Eh? Yeah, fins was... to no gills to fin, fins to gills. Fins to gills, yeah. Fins to gills, uh, which typically, uh, well, which means we use the whole entire fish. And that's a bad analogy because the fins and the gills aren't really that. Far Actually, apart. and we use the fins. Yeah, it's the, the walleye wing. Yeah, that was our flagship. Product. Not gills though. Gills right? are pretty. Flagship no one uses gills. Product. Yeah. Robert Allen Armstrong. Yeah. Okay. Good. But the main thing is, is we're going to be in Toronto. We're going to be at the... Is it the museum or the museum? art gallery? Museum. You know what I love? How the phone keeps How going. the phone keeps ringing. But I like our new ringtone. I wonder how that happened. Someone was fooling around with do, the phones. Do, 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 Okay. Did you hear how it ends? Anyways. So we're going to be doing a nice white fish a salad today. Spring's coming. We hope, so we thought we'd kick it off with a nice uh, whitefish salad. We're using the finest of... Look at that bread. It's a nice loaf. That's a nice loaf. You had to eh? get there early to get that, that loaf. Look at how fresh that is. Hey, We're going to do some nice crostinis with that. We're going to use some uh, kale and we're going to use some uh, mixed greens. We're going to make a raspberry... Raspberry? You want a raspberry? Raspberry vinaigrette. Wine vinaigrette. 
So, here, we, for the... Uh, what do we start? What do we got in there? We got some butter, we got some parsley, we got some garlic. We're just going to melt this down so we can... Uh, melt this down so we can uh, put our... The crostini. Crostini. So, nice crostini. Get whatever kind of bread you want. I just like that. Look at look at this fresh loaf. You want you like bread? Yeah, I'm gonna eat this. So, uh, I like bread. Look at look at how look at how fresh it is, eh? It tastes pretty good. Now you know if we had more time here on uh, Lake to plate, I'd bake some bread. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, so you just want to cut them up like this. Do the whole loaf. Once that butter melts down with the garlic, we're gonna dip it in there. If you have a tabletop grill, Hamilton Beach, we haven't heard back from you yet. I don't know what's going on, Hamilton Beach. Have we heard back from anybody? No, uh, we have not. Hard negative. Do we have some exciting news though? Or should we wait till it's No, let's wait till it's actually on air. Let's wait till it's on air, okay. We're gonna put the bread back there. We're gonna clean this up. We got some local bacon. Courtesy of the Clover Belt. Courtesy of the Clover Belt. Look Jen's good. Cricket. You know what's nice though? Local bacon stays fresh much longer. It does. Okay, we want to get our fry pan on. Seven. Why not eight? I don't know. Doesn't seven sound like a nice number? It's a lucky number. Yeah, number seven. Okay, so we're just going to get that going. We're just going to uh, fine dice. Look, at, you know what I love about local bacon too? It's thicker. Yeah, it's very thick. Eh? And the fat in it? Beautiful. The line is perfect. You know one thing though is I gotta give a shout out to uh, to my wife Julie. She's been hitting at home with some nice healthy food. And uh, what I want to do is I want to get Julie on here to cook healthy food. I think oh. it's a good idea. Fish is healthy, hey? Yeah, it is healthy. It is very good. Okay, so just get that in there. We're just gonna pan fry that up. Amanda Hornsby agrees that seven is better than eight. I agree. So why'd you put it on eight? I didn't. I put it on seven no. and a half. <laughs> Hit the middle. Hit the middle. Bye bye knife. Don't wash okay. knives in here. We don't. Yes. Okay, let's get out the. Uh... Okay, so courtesy of Safeway today, uh, my favorite place to go besides the wholesale. We got some nice mixed kale. Who doesn't like kale? Kale is so amazing. It's the super fruit. Fruit? No. Super. 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 Food? Food. Lettuce. Super food. And uh, you can put it into all different kinds of things. I like the baby kale much better than the adult kale. Look at this, though. Look how nice that is. It's, it's, it's nicer, though, than okay. baby kale. This is easy, folks. We're just doing an easy, simple dish today. Sometimes you got to keep it easy. Sometimes you just want a nice little salad when you get home. So over here at uh, Freshwater Cuisine HQ, not to get confused with Rampage HQ. Anyway, some uh, mixed greens. No three hundred thousand dollar prize here today. No three hundred thousand dollar prize here today. Throw that in there. <clears throat> then we get beautiful pea shoots. Our local farmers uh, do grow these. Not this time of year. Not this time of year. Right in. Well, those are still pretty nice pea shoots. They're very nice, aren't they? Boom, boom. How's your butter doing? That's a good question. What's happening over there? It's coming along. Doing a little stir. Butter's on point. Turn off the butter. Bacon, on point. Set up your deep fryer for 325. White fish. What a beautiful thing this is, eh? It's a nice filet. Nice filet. Okay, you're going to want to take out the bone down the middle. Now, you can sit here and use a tweezer and pull out all these bones if you wanted, or you could just do it the same way as you do a walleye. Almost. See you later. Alligator. It's been a while. No, uh, that just went a little farther than usual. It's been a while. Crocodile. You know, we haven't said hi to Moosey yet today. Hey, how's Moosey doing? Yeah, he's doing good. Excited for a little salad. Okay, so we're just going to do it up in nice little chunks like this. Get the butter. You know, I think the white fish is the perfect uh, salad fish. It's nice and light, flaky. I agree, too. Okay, so we got some eggs in here. Are we having a threesome? No threesome. No threesome? No. We don't need it because we have the floured egg, right? No. So just okay, two some today. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add 
Some jalapeno. Some crazy good jalapeno. Some crazy good spice here. Crazy good spice. Can't get into get. Can't get into it because it's so crazy good. <laughs> crazy tight. Okay, so you're looking at about uh, two tablespoons. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. I like the heat. I know Torin likes the heat. A nice little kick to the flour. Nice little kick to the fish. That's beautiful. Okay. Now all we want to do, take this off of here. So I should probably do a couple. Yeah, a couple little extra fish in there. Look at that. A little scale. Ooh, yeah. It's good protein. I don't think that's true. <laughs> scale? Yeah. Probably not good protein. This piece here, though, you could keep that and deep fry it. It actually disintegrates the bones. Or you could turn it into a stock. Or today, nothing. <coughs> Beautiful. We're going to keep that filet right there, though. We haven't done white fish in quite a while. No, we haven't. It's one of the first few episodes. It was. I did it because uh, my good friend, Chris and uh, Trevor. Trevor. And the others. And the others in the... Christensen family. That bacon is beautiful. This uh, that can go right there. Christine is almost ready. Christine's already. Just uh, first step of the twosome. First step of the twosome. Got to get it wet. Got to got to get it's it a wet. Key step. It's a key step. You do not want to go in dry. Dry. Okay, so dry it out on the second step. That's right. Okay, we got some problems here. You won't see an assistant on set. Isn't this where they'd go? Cut, reel, next move. Not on live TV, right? No. Nope. Not here, Freshwater Cuisine HQ. Not with all our HQs. All three. Okay, into the. Uh... Look at that. Well, Amanda Hornsby says she misses Kenora Walleye. We should do Walleye soon. I feel like Amanda Hornsby doesn't know about our uh, collection of many episodes on YouTube. That's right. Where can you find us? YouTube, if you search. Freshwater Cuisine. Into the deep fryer. How many episodes do we have on YouTube? This is what, 35 now? We're almost in syndication. Isn't that beautiful? Nice fish. Right, so we put the rest of this in here. Want to make that bacon nice and crispy. Here. The old tossy toss. You know what I like about Grace's spices? Like I can smell that it's got heat. Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay, so. No filler in them. It's nice, uh, <clears throat> nice aspect. A little twirly twirl. Always make sure to use your blue gloves at home, folks. Uh, it's not because I've cut myself before, it's because, uh, you know. Look at that bacon's going nice. Well, bacon smells that, nice. Fish smells nice. Fish? Let's take a little look see here with our corn flour fish. Oh, that's coming along beautifully. That's a beauty fish. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add some... Uh... Red pepper. Always nice in the salad. Always nice in the salad, right? You know what I don't care for in a salad? Green peppers. Or cucumbers. Do not like cucumbers now. Take some cherry tomatoes. Use whatever you want, folks. This is uh, just what I saw at... Uh, what caught your eye? Cut my eye into the salad. What's the fish doing? Oh, it's nice looking fish. Okay, now what we're going to do, a little bit of paper towel. Oh my. What was that, 10 seconds? Yeah. Is that beautiful? Oh, that's some nice white fish. Look at just. The corn flour has some nice, uh, oh. It's got a nice crunch to it. Yes. Nice crispy looking white fish. Go beautifully in that salad. That's it. Let's put the rest of it in. 
This was two fillets, folks, so you're going to see when you cut it down, you get lots. Fortunately, that's got to go. Can't reuse that one. Can't reuse that one. <laughs> okay, you know me. I like that you're cutting the uh, peppers with a serrated bread knife. You like that, eh? Yes. Well, you know. Why not? All for it. It works, chef. What's wrong with a serrated knife? Okay, we don't need these two. Let's get some uh, What's next? Oh. red onion in the house. I like a nice onion. The size of this one, eh? You know, it's tough to find a small red onion. Yeah, I don't see a lot of small red onions. Clover milk. Clover milk. You're right. Okay. Depends how much onion you like. We like the onion. Big fans of onion. And it goes. Come along nicely, isn't it? Okay, yeah. my other favorite thing. Almonds. Just natural almonds. Thank you, Julie Vincent, for telling me all about the almond. In she goes. We get the uh, crostini. Next, the crostini. Have your grill set up. Nice and hot. Hopefully. Let's get it there. Fish is done. Now, the vinaigrette. Forgot all about the vinaigrette. We're going to do an actual homemade vinaigrette today. Is that exciting? No more Newman's. No more Newman's. Not that I don't mind Newman. Newman's a good guy. Hey, Newman's good. Newman's makes a nice dressing. You know what? Look at how nice this Like, look how nice that is. That is beautiful whitefish. You can see the spices coming through in the corn. Nice and crispy. Deep fryer going. Nice. Now, I'm going to want to drain that off a little. Just get a spoon. Not yet. Oh. <coughs> okay, in go the raspberries. Right in. Garlic. How much garlic? Quarter tablespoon. Salt. Pepper. Lime juice. How much lime juice? A lot of sneezing going on on set. Tablespoon. What else we got there? The finest of Colavita. Hmm. Did I say Colavita. Right? Colavita. I'm probably saying it wrong too. Six percent acidity, not booze. <laughs> okay, booze, you're gonna I'd want. Be Belt there. Quarter cup. Yeah. I like the accurate measurements here on set. Then some oil. How much oil? That much oil. Quarter cup. So you want more oil than vinaigrette. Okay. We got the magic bullet. Easy peasy. It's our second magic bullet. The first one disappeared somewhere. Yes. Not to Monib. How easy is that? Beautiful. Nice color. There is your vinaigrette, folks. Oh. Vinegar, raspberry, garlic. Nice. In she goes. Like, that's spring-looking color, right? Eh? That's a nice spring salad. Okay, that's going to go there. That's going to go there. So I'm figured this out. Need to spoon out the bacon. Mm. I'm high. It's a little <laughs> dazed. Boys! Mm. Boys! Mm. Okay. Hopefully in your kitchen you have more utensils. Uh, we're still waiting for that sponsor to come along to give us a new uh, kitchen. Let's start with a set of utensils. 
Okay, so we're just scrape. Okay, folks, just scrape your bacon bits up. This is what we do in northwestern Ontario. In the bacon goes. I wouldn't throw away that bacon fat. I would use it. Hopefully not in your salad, however. No, but maybe in your salad dressing. Should have done that. I should have. Hmm. Very nice, isn't it? That's very nice. Okay. We might as well uh, also bring up that uh, we'll be doing a Love Local box again, right? Yeah, coming up soon. We're going to be doing when a is lo that? Local box. Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Uh, with the clover belt. So we'll be using some local produce. Uh, but what's exciting for Freshwater Cuisine is we're going to unleash a new product, aren't we? Yeah. Test product. Test product. Exclusive to the Clover Belt. Exclusive to the Clover Belt. So you're not going to want to miss this Love Local box. You won't want to miss this Love Local box. Courtesy of Eddie's Roback. Eddie. Anyway, we have... Should we show them? I thought we were keeping her hush hush, no? Get the promotion out. Isn't that beautiful? The Exclusive. first ever... Is it the first ever? Nah, I mean... Probably not. First ever Northern Pike. Nah, even. Maybe. Commercialized. There we go. Wow. Not yet. No. Northern Pike Dill Sausage. Sexy? Very sexy. Sexy. Clover Belt, this is what you're getting. So, uh, if you haven't ordered your Love Local box, you want to get this Love Local box. This is a new, exciting test, test product yes. of freshwater cuisine. You won't be uh, what's disappointed. Word? Disappointed. Warren liked it. It was good. It's a nice sausage. Okay, there's our salad. There's our fish. Okay, into this now. You know what actually probably be good? That bacon fat in there. Good call. No waste. Except for those chunks of fish earlier. Except for those chunks of fish earlier, which we would have used anyway. Okay, boom, boom. Give this a little stir. Nice bacon, garlic, butter, parsley, crostini. Mm, it's gonna go nice with the salad. Okay, she's hot. So just douse her in there. Just douse her in there. On the grill. Oh, that smells nice. I might be most excited just about eating some bread. I got a problem. Yeah, I think you should go to Bread's Anonymous. You think they <laughs> make one, or should I just be like a founding member? I think you should be a founding member. And folks, don't throw out this garlic because it's got flavor. Keep this garlic, add more butter, add more oil. Do it again. Do it again. Are we gonna do it again? Maybe. Look how nice those crustinis look. Hey, okay. Those are nice. Okay, so we played him. Oh, why did I take that off? I've never seen a guy through, go through as many gloves. Oh my, Torn. Oh, that is a nice looking Christine. Not so much that one. But that one. Oh! Beautiful. You can smell the garlic. Smell the garlic. Smell the bacon. Smell the butter. The bacon fat. Oh, bacon yeah. Fat. said bacon. Bacon fat. Okay, we need a nice bowl, eh? Yeah, I need a nice bowl for Let's a nice salad. Let's get a nice bowl for a nice salad. This is a nice bowl, eh? You like this bowl? Yeah, it's very nice. Nice bowl. You're cleaning it awfully hard, though. Was it not clean? <laughs> uh, do frames, if you're watching, we're looking for a stainless steel fridge. I was thinking dishwasher. Oven. And please, a dishwasher. Do frames? Hey, Granny Hanny, if you're watching, I know your wife's got the connection. Your wife. I know your daughter's got the connection. Wow. Oh, look at this. Gotta get the right grill marks look on there, this, Chef. Going. Is that some sexy bread or what? I mean, in my opinion, every bread's a sexy I bread. Know. Okay, give this a stir. You can hear those almonds just slish sloshing around in there. Oh, 
I am hungry. Okay, one thing we want to do. Beautiful bread. Gonna get a hit up a little more. <clears throat> Simple, easy, let's think of spring, let's think of colors, let's think of summer, let's get past winter. Winter's been around long enough. This is a beautiful, nice vinaigrette. Using your grill, make you feel like you're outside. Maybe you're doing it outside. Maybe you're making your salad outside, just trying to get the nice spring in you. Look at this. That's a nice... Look at this. Look at this. To take our uh, hey uh, Roberto hey Traz here's a nice summer salad for you do, you do you think they like when you call out on camera I think so <laughs> is that half a fillet of white fish not even not even half a fillet of white fish we're going back to the... You know what else we need here? Well, we need a few things. Some towels. <clears throat> How does that toast look? I, I would... I'm thinking about just devouring it as we speak. Okay, so what I like to do here... There it is, folks. A nice, simple, easy spring salad with the superfood, the power food, the brain food, a kale, mixed greens, red peppers, onions, cherry tomatoes, almonds. That's it. And of course. Oh, pea shoots. And then the main event, white fish out of Lake Manitoba, straight from our good friends at... Uh, Christian's Fishery with a nice bacon garlic crostini. What do you think something like that would go for on the... Yeah. You know what? You know where this would be nice? The Broken Paddle in Kiwaitin. I think you're right. Sarah, if you're watching, right here. Have a bye.